It's the Jim Fannin Show. We come to take your mind. Am I still on? It's Thursday night. I felt ugly, I felt gay. In and out, 45 minutes tops, because Gavin's coming up at 9 o'clock. It's the Jim Vannon Show. Live from the Michigan side of Port Luzi. It's me, Jim Vannon. I used to have a, like a professional guy to do that, but Jay Beatty with the intro. Up my audio levels. Everything I... Welcome aboard. Thirteen dead now. Joe Biden has created a freaking mess. It's nasty. And he's got more than one. Welcome aboard. We're going to do a quick hit tonight. And uh, last night was fun. I found an old uh, Jim Fannin show from CHC, CH, CHSE, 1220 CHSE. Um, I'll get it up on the podcast soon. It was pretty cool. We're still talking about SARS. We're still talking about Afghanistan. This is 2004. One of my first, well, it was my first radio show. For reals. All right. What do you want to hit? What do we got in the title? Oh, election 44. (laughs) 25 days until election day. I'm sitting out. I got 10 on my, I got 10 campaigns under my belt. (laughs) I talked to a buddy Vez tonight. He's like, "You're running?" I'm like, "Hell no!" <laughs> I said, "I was just, I was just thinking about getting 100 signatures." He said, "Ah, I'm running the provincial. I only got to get 25." <laughs> We're gonna hit COVID. We're gonna hit hard and fast. Um, Kabul, Kabul, Afghanistan is burning. Literally, it's not good. This is what tyranny really looks like. This is what. I don't know, but Kamala Harris gets caught on the tarmac and her reaction to a reporter who is asking her a significant and important question. Wow, it sounds like I've actually prepared this show. Guess what I haven't. Before boarding her flight to Singapore, and she simply laughed, cackling, when a reporter started to ask her I about her Americans laugh's cute. trapped in Afghanistan. She snaps. Watch. She doesn't really snap. What's your response to a group of Americans? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> slow down, everyone. I want to talk about slow down, everybody. <laughs> How about you? Uh, what the hell are you talking about? Ooh, dial it back. That one's hot. Stop it. I'm gonna come. <laughs> I don't know where that fucking guy comes from. <sighs> Shut up, Kamala. Oh, that's it. Oh, I don't have the shut up loaded. I have to redo my board. This is a great... Oh, and these links in order are in the show description, so you can follow along while you're watching if you want to click on it. This is a great one. Uh, why di- uh, Why don't they believe us? Imagine you're a normal person in the year 2016. Rightly or wrongly, you believe in most of what you see in the media, and you believe the polls are broadly reflective of p- public opinion. You believe doctors and scientists are trustworthy and independent. You're a decent, reasonable person who follows the rules and trusts the authorities. Imagine your shock when Brexit 
which you were assured couldn't happen because it was a fringe movement led by racists for racists, happens. The polls, which widely predicted it wouldn't happen, were wrong. The experts and pundits who told you day after day that it wouldn't happen were also wrong. Oh, well, you say these things happen. Imagine soon after that that Donald Trump is running for president. You're told by the most trustworthy media outlets that he's going to lose. Some experts say his opponent has a 99% chance of winning. Imagine waking up the morning after the election to discover that the pollsters, experts, and politicians you, you trusted were wrong again. Now the racist monster who you were told would never get near the White House is the leader of the free world. Man, do you miss Trump now? How did this happen? You ask yourself, uh, how could everyone I rely on for good information be so wrong? Was it the Russians? Oh, it was the Russians, they tell you. The Russians did Brexit and they got Trump elected too. <laughs> Here comes the Miller report. Anyways, it's a solid read. It's not that long. I don't want to get into it uh, in too much depth, but I thought you might be interested in it hook it up it's the second link in the show description elijah schaefer i'm chasing you around the clock he's a big guy he only does big interviews now so i i, I don't blame him if he doesn't come on my little show but uh i had a request in still for you return my call savannah i love you what's this we couldn't be outside out last year where we at reads, oh, no! what is your message to cuomo right now right in hell you son wait, of wait, a bitch wait, 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 wait. Oh, actually, you know what? You don't even need to hear this. <laughs> it's beyond ridiculous. Uh, they're sending Cuomo wishes. Let's just put it that way. Where's the other sound coming from? There we go. Shush you. Okay, so... Link in the description below. Let's get one. That's it. <laughs> Another one. Uh, keep your guards up. Always get out of cities. A lot of people are saying get out of the cities um, because this. So we couldn't be outside last year. Where we at? Oh, no! What is your message to Cuomo right now? Right in hell, you son of a bitch. Cuomo, you put pineapple on your pizza. Oh, my gosh. I'm really bad at this game. Shut it. How the hell did I get this confused? Usually I'm better at this game. All right, shut your mouth. Rewind. Full screen. Volume up. Play. Volume up. All right. Watch, watch the tall guy. That guy's going to go down. Right. Here, that guy drops that white man to the ground with a sucker shot. You can hear it just before that. Boom. He's down. These are thugs. Guy out with his girlfriend. <laughs> thugs come up on him. Whatever happened, I don't know. The guy's, the guy's on his phone. And he's chirping him. And then he's talking to his girl. And then boom. You heard it. You didn't see it correctly, but, but you see him go down. And he's out. I had to switch over to my other YouTube account tonight because I'm not sure if this stuff will make it. So I wanted to protect Damn. TrueTube. Who did that? He didn't do it. I don't know what the fuck happened. He just fell on the ground. Listen to this trash. That's crazy. Clean his ass. <laughs> Turn him on his side, please. That's the cop. The cop, eh? That shit crazy. The cop. Turn him on his side, please. 
Nobody's too fucking concerned about this kid, are they? Listen to the ghetto. I haven't even seen this all the way through. It's too hard to watch. I'm sorry to bring it to you. Look, now she's chirping. What the fuck? This is not real. Y'all out. You believe these fucking animals in the clean. street? Cause of you, bitch. <laughs> you got your nigga knocked out. <laughs> <sighs> Dumbass bitch. She got our man knocked out talking too much. <sighs> talking too much? He was on his phone. Boop and walked off. And got the fuck on. No. Ain't no gay nigga did it. A real nigga did it. In 2.3 seconds. Sorry. I gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Project Veritas targeted in 14 by Cuomo. Boom. New York Supreme Court sides with Project Veritas and that allow, allows group to dispose the New York Times from basically printing fake news. Way to go. That's good. Check out Veritas. <laughs> it's pretty wild that in 2001, 21, oh, in, tw in, in 2001, this would be normal, but it's tw 20 years later, so like this ain't normal. It's pretty wild that in 2021, a new game studio still looks like this. Oh, I would need that, that, the psycho, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> <laughs> scary eh wow bunch of gamers are white oh white rage is scary like I, I love girls like this is. first of all why don't you try only fans probably feel better about yourself with some money in your pocket you socialist oh it's said a bad word I was going to use another D word. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that for a second. Bro, white <laughs> rage is so scary. You know what TikTok has done? Instagram and Facebook, but particularly TikTok. It has showcased... Showcased? Showcasing mental illness, basically. These people... I cannot look away. The cringe value is too, too worthy. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. Bro, white rage is so What's scary. In the background? What and am I missing? It's like I can't. White rage is scary. I don't know what is in the background. Let's, I can't get it up loud enough. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. Bro, white rage is. And what's with the, the zooming? Is that a mental illness thing or a fucking 12 year old thing? Sincerely. It's so scary. And sometimes it's like. Wait, Rage. Wait, Rage was that girl driving around on the scooter I posted the other day. I, mean, I don't think it's on the show tonight, but that's white rage mental that's white mental rage that's a girl on her scooter unhappy with her life calling you all kinds of racist names that uh, you hardly ever see that she's like one almost in a million like i can't understand why the historically least oppressed people are the most pressed like what do you and all your privilege even have to be mad about it's always some karen trying to speak to the manager and then i just you know always some karen Karen is a racist term for white people, is it not? Like, we all hate Karens, we get that, but Karen is always white, right? So, here you're talking about race, and you're hanging the same race all over. 
think about you're the racist young lady oh it's probably because their entitlement has prevented them from no we're entitled because we're white oh cool so every person that's white is entitled i posted a video on tiktok about a white racist a woman that was being racist about white people and i spoke over it and called her a racist and they removed it for hate speech gaining the emotional or mental tools required to deal when they don't get their way look in the mirror so whenever i see a white person getting all hot and bothered i'm like why the rage fuck your feelings yeah let's so fucking brave i don't know why i do this to myself or you because i like you that's why joy reed is a taliban a taliban apologist i'm not gonna read them all america saw the taliban as plainly evil you think <laughs> where are all the feminists now afghanistan's uf's u.s backed government didn't just fail because of the taliban it was hobbled from the start by America's blind spots and biases. All of these choices reflected the hubris of Western powers that saw Afghan traditions as an obstacle to be overcome when, it turns out, they were the lifeblood of the country's political future. Culture. Both. And then this, a year ago tonight, America got a clear fas fascism warning in Charlottesville. Our leaders and media should have listened. The guy that jumped in the car that ran over Heather Heyer in Charlottesville just moments before was being chased by Antifa with a shotgun. That is a fact. He was spooked. He was trying to get away. <sighs> Whatever. Just spin it. Spin it to fit your narrative, and then we're all fine. I got to go at Z29. I got a half an hour. Parent files complaint against Ant Atlanta Elementary School alleges it's segregating classes. You heard that. They put the blacks in their own class. <laughs> Can you say the blacks? Or is that racist now? <laughs> yeah, they segregated the school kids by color. Link in the description below. Uh, Nick Fuentes, America's most hated conservative says the FBI took almost 500K from his bank account after he attended the Trump D.C. rally. They arrested, oh, uh, Enrico uh, Tario, used to be the head of the Proud Boys. He just got five, I think he got five months for burning a Black Lives Matter flag. But Antifa burned America for 18 months and nothing. They just get out of jail. The FBI came out and said there's no connection with the organized white supremacy. There's no January 6th was not a collusion. It was not an insurrection. It was not, you know, planned by white supremacist groups. It was not organized by Trump. It was not egged on by Trump. Everyone gets off. Everyone's good, including Alex Jones with the, with the charge with incitement or some shit. Yeah, the FBI came out and said, yeah, none of that. Can you believe that? Wow. None of that happened. 95% of them were just independent people that were pissed off. And they meandered through. And there's, I don't know if Joe, I bet you Joe Beggs is still in solitary confinement. Making an example of him. Dying indoors. I mean, it's. Uh, that's the New York shit, Gavin Newsom. He's quality. Okay, let's hit the Canadian uh, election. 
PPC, this is the way I'm going, this is Max, and here is his platform. Uh, COVID policy, uh, let's just go quickly through it, okay? Okay. The unprecedented government response to the COVID-19 pandemic has massively Neg- has had massively negative repercussions on Canadians' physical and mental health. I don't need to read any more. I agree completely. Freedom. Plan. Fire the chief public health officer of Canada, Theresa Tam, and replace, replace her with someone who will work with the province, provincial agencies to implement all of their... Boom. I have not watched, I have not seen this, but it is in the links below. I can't imagine. Repeal vaccine passports for travelers. Oppose vaccine mandates. Support emergency provincial measures to protect the most vulnerable. Max Bernier, he's got it. He's he's got my vote, but he's he's got the issues nailed. I don't even have to go any further to know. Here's the first one, COVID policy, because they just released that today. Healthcare. Let's go to the bottom here. Something that shouldn't really be all that interesting to you. Equalization payments. There's have not and have provinces. And this was structured a long time ago and was designed to make sure that everyone in Canada got a little piece of the pie because the, you know, there's some parts of Canada where there's just no work and there's no industry and there's not a lot of shit. So we had to take care of them. This explains it all. And how it's government welfare and provincial welfare and how it, it, it uh, incentivizes the, the, the provinces like Manitoba and New Brunswick and Quebec and Nova Scotia to run fat civic deficits and budgets because they got this money coming in. Fucking uh, the plan. It's good. And you wouldn't think you wouldn't because you don't know that this is a deal. You don't know that this is an issue in the background. This is like a huge, this is huge dollars going out. $20 billion a year. Oh, no, that's bullshit. You don't, how can Quebec be a have not province? Why? Because they don't charge. They don't count any of the hydro hydro is their number one resource and export. And they do, it's somehow excluded from the GDP of the province so that it's not calculated against their income so that they still get their billions. Quebec, yeah. They got way too much money in hydro. I mean, they don't need welfare payments from the rest of us. Firearms, per, I mean, I don't need to read here. <laughs> Replace the Firearms Act. Replace the costly, burdensome licensing system with an efficient lifetime certification system for firearms owners after mandatory vetting. (sighs) Immigration's the best one. Anyways, I'm not going to hit on that. Immigration. Here, let's, like, I mean, (laughs) issue, facts, our plan. Lower the number of immigrants and refugees in Canada. From 350, it's going to 402 this year, to between 100 and 150,000, depending on our economic and other circumstances. Well, he's moved away from the moratorium, it sounds like. He said he wanted a moratorium for me for 18 months. I don't see that here. Still, we can take less and we can take better. We can target them. Uh, Conservative platform. Not well laid out. There's not a click on here to find the platform. I was on with Aaron O'Toole on a conference call the other day in a group chat, and I got to ask him a question. It was pretty good. I... uh, I told him I like Max Bernier. <laughs> I did, really. Yes, I did. I did that. So this is it. Jobs, accountability, mental health, country, economy, environment. There's no, like, it's, you can't, it doesn't, there's no place, like, just make the platform. Show us the platform. <laughs> Even the green's got a button for the cl- platform. 
our plan. These are just buying the sky promises because they never do what they say to the liberals, right? So fuck them. Jug meat. Yeah, fuck him too. Nobody's going to vote for that guy. Radical. Socialist. Undemocratic. Fuck you, Jughead. <laughs> Speaking of Jugheads, uh, well, hi, Elizabeth. I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> How come Elizabeth's still front and center? Uh, Elizabeth, you're not the you're not the leader anymore. Where's Anime, Anime, or anim, Animus? Uh, uh, uh. A message, introduction, all Elizabeth May. So, again, pie-in-the-sky stuff, reconciliation, addressing climate, it's so total social justice stuff, ecological wisdom, I'm down with that. The social contract, stop. A just society, stop it. Good governance, I'm down for that. I'm down for electoral reform, proportional representation. Jagmeet Singh wouldn't back Shear, but he could back O'Toole. Listen, I tell you one thing. Jagmeet Singh is a slut. He would blow you for five bucks if he got political gain out of it. If he got one, something to take back to the party or to his grassroots socialist wacko dippers. Yeah, he's a, he's a prostitute, basically. I mean, not for sex. He's a political prostitute. I don't mean he'd blow you literally, but you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> if I have to explain the joke. Nirvana, uh, this kid is such a grifter. This kid has been grifting from this grift. Well, it wasn't a grift when he did it, but now he's been, uh, I, don't, I don't even, he's suing Nirvana for child abuse. Fuck. Yeah, he's not stupid. Another vaccine death. Don't need to talk about that. Oh, Australia is nuts. And Canada's airlift mission from Kabul ends leaving many behind. No. Are you reading that wrong, right? That can't be. Are you saying that there's no more flights going out of Afghanistan and many Canadians are left behind? Is that what you're saying, CBC? <laughs> that doesn't sound very Canadian. Fucking Trudeau of garbage 12 dead in uh, Afghanistan it's a freaking mess I could show you Tucker right now but I won't links in the description below okay on the way out uh, coronavirus I've been saying this for a long time I don't read your posts for the, the doctors that are saying what I've been saying for a year and a half two years okay I don't read your stuff very seldom does anyone send me a video of a doctor that I'm going to watch. I've seen it all. I've been saying it all. I don't need it. I don't want to hear about the FDA scam. None of it. Okay. Here's the United States. Here's what we need to know about this. This is not complicated. And it's the same thing I've been saying since the very beginning. We're doing okay. The numbers aren't out of the ordinary for any, and uh, don't even get me started. Uh, well, I, I'm started. Here we go. New cases. All right. So at the height, at the last peak, we we're at new cases, new daily cases. Let's call it 250,000. Okay. That's the peak. It's probably more like 222 or whatever. 250,000 as a peak. Okay. Daily new cases. Now, now we're at 150. That's 60%. 150 is 60% of 250. You follow me so far? Okay, good. Like, am I comparing, am I getting the parameters wrong here? Okay. Deaths peaked at 3,500. Okay. Now, at 60% of the cases of the last peak, we're at 940. What's that? That's 25% of the deaths. We're at 60. Is this, am I doing this wrong? 
Canada. The line is the seven-day moving average. Nailly do, nailly do cases peaked around nine thousand. We had two of them. And you notice the peak does not translate. See the peaks? We get a peak here, January 9th, and then another one in April. Daily deaths. January peaked, and then in April, oops, did not. It's getting better. It's getting less deadly. It may be more transmissible because viruses, that's how they, ooh, that's white supremacy. Viruses do that as they mutate to stay alive, but they also leave a little bit behind and they lessen in severity. Deaths. Are you looking at this? I don't, do we need to? We should put. No, that's too tight. I should get. Oh, well, maybe I can just do this. Oh, I'm still on a walk. Well, my average pace is really off. Settle down. Yeah, that's going to bring my average down. I walked 900 meters in an hour and a half. Okay, so here we're talking daily deaths. Okay? Look at this. I mean, we have some days where there's none. Single digits. <laughs> 13. And you're going to talk about masking your children, sending them back to school? Are you fucking high? New cases, 2,700. Like some people just think this is a joke. Daily deaths, still in the States. Under 1,000 deaths with 30, 350, 335 million people. 40 million people have had it. 150 million have had the shot. I don't know. What are we worried about? Find me on Facebook. No, oh, you don't want to see that. Oh, new episodes going up. Oh, Afghanistan. Yeah, I was looking at the when they Bagram Airfield. They just abandoned this thing. So now they have to fight for the Kabul, the airport in Kabul that's run by the Taliban now. When they had this thing, it's a billion dollar base. <laughs> and they just abandoned it. Just walked away from it. You could have evacuated, every, evacuated everyone from this airfield that you completely controlled and that was secure. So they abandon this and then they fight to try and get the Taliban to cooperate with them in Kabul. What the? Am I fucking living a dream? <laughs> Meanwhile, this fucking clown, you get people dying in Afghanistan. And today this clown's talking about diversity is a num wh what diversity is a number am i fucking dreaming like seriously women's equity day you know who this fucking clown is <laughs> it's hopeless i'm black pilling Well, it's 8.46. And, uh... I'm furious! I am. <laughs>